Welcome to the Spring Yin class. My name is Roseanne. I'll be your guide today. Today, a little bit of mobility, a little bit of yang inspired practice before we move into our yin. Just like so, be ready for that. And have a blanket. It's maybe on like kind of folded in a rectangle to place underneath your hips and some pillows, some bolsters, things to lift the earth, if you wish, on hand. So come up onto your blanket, if you have one, hands behind the body, and start to just windshield wash to the leg side. To... And just experience what your hips have to say. And pause with the feet planted. Arms are long here. Lift up through the heart. Look at the traps, cradle the head. Inhale. Exhale, look at the tongue. The head comes back to center. And let's let the legs drape to your right. So we can stag them here. Kind of like we do for deer or mermaid in um in Pilates. And sit nice and tall. And hopefully the blanket will help you with that, especially um, if you have any imbalances like I do in my hips. Sitting kind of near the edge of the blanket is quite nice. Side bend toward the left and the right. a few times. You know what? I'm going to restart. <laughs> Welcome to this spring yin class. My name is Roseanne. I'll be your guide today. In this practice, we'll have a little bit of yang, just a little bit of mobility work before we sink into the yin with it being spring, a time of release. Uh, lots of rotations in practice today as well. So please have pillows, bolsters, what you need handy, and preferably a folded blanket, maybe fold into a rectangle kind of like this for underneath the, the hips. And then sit on your blanket. And hands can plant behind you, fingertips toward the body, and let the legs Sweep side to side. Just experience what the hips have to say. One more time. And then pause with the feet planted. Press the hands into the earth to lift up through the heart as you inhale. Let the head be carried by the traps here if able. Exhale, stick up the tongue as the head comes back. Uh, we bend the elbows, lengthen, bend, lengthen. One more time, bend and press away. Sit up nice and tall here. Cross the legs just for a moment. Arms reach up. And hands can come to heart center. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you will find this practice ease filled. Namaste. From here, we'll allow the legs to drape to your left, stag them, and sit up nice and tall. And that's what to that blanket is for. For me with scoliosis, this is kind of the awkward side. Let's see if you can find your sits bones and that blanket may give you a little bit of comfort. And then take one of your pillows, bolsters, whatever you have, maybe place it so that you think your head might land on it. 
<laughs> for later. That left hand could come into the earth. It could also be on the bolster if you wish. Extend the right arm, reach across the chest, and then rotate toward the bolster. Open, inhale, and exhale to close. Always readjust the sits bones if it doesn't feel right. It's open and close. More time open. And then the next time you're ready to inhale, opposite breath pattern, close. Open to exhale. Inhale to close. Just experience different breath patterns. Inhale to close, exhale to open, two more, last one, close, open, and side bend to your right, that'd be very small, and left, right. and left. Again, reach that right arm out to the side. And then as you exhale, close so that both hands come, perhaps the bolster, perhaps the earth, depending what you have here. Now you might want to adjust your hips a little. You may just stay high. You might come down into deer this way, just with bent elbows, or take a rotation here, a little bit extra, and take that right arm up and thread it underneath the left one. This can be quite challenging though. And then lower yourself to any degree. And I need to move the, the bolster. There we go. Oh boy. And bring the head perhaps to the bolster. The arm threaded between. If it's too much, there's no need to add the extra rotation here. We'll see it for quite some time. Liver meridian being a great one to work on in spring. So ensure that this is manageable long-term. We settle the hips, soften the shoulders. Notice where you sense any compression in the belly. You can let go of tension in the face. And maybe you swirl the tongue around the top teeth. And circle them. A few times. Great way to support digestion. Digestion begins in the mouth. Reverse the tongue. with this movement of the tongue has anything shifted in tension it's okay if it hasn't but just notice the breath has changed and swirl around the bottom teeth Reverse. 
我打个问。Continue to breathe. And here we're working with that liver meridian. In Chinese medicine, it's associated with the anger. So sometimes you'll hear people say, notice any anger arises, notice any emotion. Even if it's metaphorical, just tune in to what you're feeling. Observe it. few more breaths here, maybe five to 10, depending on your pace. One more inhale, exhale, ha. And if you're rotated, turn your torso back toward the earth, maybe forearms to bolster, whatever works. And pause. Until you feel ready to come onto the hand. And maybe torso turns back toward me. I just feel any flush. The moments in between, as important as the poses themselves, every moment mindful or return to mindfulness to become the observer if we've wandered off. Inhale and exhale to drop the chin. Maybe look up if it's safe for the neck and down. And up and down. Just notice again in this position what it's like to move the head. It comes to center. Maybe look over one shoulder and then the other. Repeat. Jaw wiggle. And then find yourself back in center. Take both feet and plant them. Give yourself a hug. Tuck the chin to massage the thyroid. Nod the head side to side. Small. Mm, cross your arms the opposite way. One more little hug. Even let the spine round. Mm, cross the legs. Maybe the opposite way that you feel comfortable. Just to open up across the heart. Maybe even bring the hands behind. Interlace them if you're able. It's great to work with the lung meridian too in springs. Just open it up. Heart as well. Ah, and roll the shoulders. Plant the feet and she'll wash her again.
Next time your legs come to the right, keep them there and find your sits bones. Find how you'd like your legs. And again, tall spine as you plant that right hand on the earth or on that bolster, whatever you've got handy. Extend through the left fingertips, open up across the chest. And then on the exhale, close, rotate toward right hand. Open and close. For now, inhale, broaden, exhale, use the core, open and close. I shouldn't even say use the core. It's better to say use the breath. So focus on mobility, not muscles. Close and open. A few more. One more time with this breath pattern. Close, open, and find your breath again. So you can inhale to close and exhale to open. Inhale, sweep the hands together and widen across the chest. Notice I'm staying nice and high here. One more time, open and side bend left and right. And it doesn't have to be far. Sit bones still grounded, especially the opposite one. When we come to the right, there we go. <laughs> and come tall, reach across the chest. And then thread that left arm underneath the right one. If you want to go right into the rotation, hands could also pause on the bolster. Slow it down a little bit. <laughs> Reach left arm open if you haven't already and thread. Find what you need here to come down. Arm perhaps between the pillow and your legs. Be here for quite some time, five minutes per side for this particular pose. I might stay a little higher on the side for now. Then get that hip rounded more. Slight high rotation. So do what you need. Notice if you feel the stretch in different places on this side. Oh, I feel it in my nuts as I turn my head to the side. Despite the compression, can you breathe into the belly? Let it soften and fill along with the sides of the ribs, the back of the ribs, three-dimensional breath, massage your organs. You might feel this in that left shoulder. The deltoid. Just notice. Of course, the hip.
And again, there's tension in through the face, swirl the tongue, bottom teeth. If you can feel each tooth. Reverse the tongue. And find the top teeth and circle. Pray for headaches. Work with the muscles of the face, release them. Reverse the tongue. And let that go. Inhale, exhale, ha. As you start to come out of the rotation, if in it. Mm. Nice and slow. Press up onto the hands and pause again. Torso turns back toward the long edge of your mat or toward your legs. Again, drop the chin. Look up. Head lowers. Neck extends. It's a few times. And from here, nod the head side to side, maybe that jaw wiggle. And pause, maybe with the hands even supporting you. So feel more into the hips, the unraveling. And again, feet plant up. Switch the curls. <laughs> Pardon me. Hmm. And from here, just a short uh, sphinx or seal. So this blanket could again be used underneath the hips. And allow the belly, or the, well, the hips, the top of the hip to come to the blanket, the belly to come down. And you might stay on forearms, widen them, or widen the hands as play. And you can rock a few times here. 
you might have a bolster between the chest, this one's a little big, but between the chest and ah, the arms. Won't stay super long in this pose, but just to give us a little touch point on the other meridians. Try to go through some of them a little quicker, some of them slower. Notice any compression on the kidneys as you extend through the heart and try to broaden across the clavicles. option here it's a springtime a time of release a little bit of breath of fire if you're not familiar with breath of fire you can do long slow deep breathing if you have issues of blood pressure again long slow deep breathing otherwise it's kind of like a panting think of a dog panting sticking out its tongue except we do it with the tongue in you can pant first with the tongue out over the tongue but then you can also do that with the nose Focus on the exhale and allow the inhale to just happen. And the belly will move. Focus, exhale, allow the inhale to happen. So inhale to prepare. Exhale to soften. <sighs> inhale partway. And then pump the belly with the exhale. Gentle but firm. Eyes can roll up to the third eye. Forehead. Longer hair. Inhale, perhaps suspend the breath if it feels okay for you. Whenever you're ready, exhale and lower onto the belly, bend the knees, maybe windshield wash of the legs side to side as the forehead comes to the hands. Plant those shins back down, come onto the forearms, slide. Ah, one leg up to the side, move through the neck, shake that side to side, wiggle that jaw, and lengthen the leg out, other side, move through the head, if it serves, maybe stick up the tongue, and come back down. From here, child's pose, bring those hands closer toward you and press back hips to heels if you're able if this isn't for you roll onto your back and just take your feet together knees apart you could also just hug the knees into the chest if you rather have compression on the belly because i have two options here so first of all <laughs> if you're in child's pose the blanket we could use it again under the tops of the feet. So some people have sensitivity there. So some people enjoy this with the knees, either these are the options, knees together. If you would like to focus more on the belly and not engage in another rotation with me, but get that compression. And then on your back, that would be the knee hug or take the knees nice and wide. So we still also get a little bit in through the meridian line of the, um, the kidney, the inside of the, the leg. So take them nice and wide. And then you can come down onto um, with a bolster handy and we'll engage in a rotation. So if you want to work or get into rather stretch the insides of your legs, you could be on your back with your feet together or that knee hug. 
Okay, so choose your variation. And then from here, we can do a momentary child's pose just forward before we add the rotation. Okay, so you might like the bolster the way I have mine. You might like to turn your head to the side before the rotation. This is nice. Or when we add on a little bit. <laughs> Hands could be on the pillow or bolster. Just so many ways to practice. About 10 breaths or so here. Breath massages the belly and the diaphragm widens out to the sides of the ribs at the same time to extend that internal massage and sensation of stretch further up the chain. So you could stay here or lift up a little and take your right arm up to the side and then thread it underneath the left arm and again, come into a rotation. I don't know about you, but I still feel this on the inseams of the leg. Few more breaths on this side. More inhale and exhale to return to center. If doing one side, otherwise just stay where you are. The left arm will reach and thread it underneath the right arm. Maybe you turn your head the opposite way if you were lying with your body on the bolster with the head turned. Let's try to balance things out. Few more breaths. More inhale and exhale to unread that arm and come back to center. Hands maybe over that bolster if you have one and come midline again with the torso. More inhale and exhale to start to lift up. If you're uh, in a child's pose,
pause in a position that's comfortable for you. And if you are the way I am here, perfect place to explore hero or saddle archetype in yin. You can keep the tops of the feet on that blanket. The blanket could also come between the heels and your bottom. Hmm. If you're on your back, you could choose a supported bridge pose. So you could have a blocker bolster underneath the hips with the knees bent. Otherwise, perhaps you lift the hips as your weight comes onto the hands, lower them back down, and you might just stay right here. Also have a bunch of pillows behind yourself to kind of make a um, bridge, make a uh, ramp rather. So you won't be here long. I'm going to come onto my forearms today. Just to get a bit of opening through the front line, which you could achieve in that supported bridge on your back. You have knee issues. And a lot of people congest their lower backs in this pose where they have their knees too close together. Depends on your body, but a lot of us are wider here. Let the traps cradle the head if you're part way down like I am. This is an archetype that features a lot in summer practice. So spend more time in, in summer. Five more breaths. Final inhale and exhale. Ha. If you're down fairly far, make sure you don't rotate side to side as you press up onto one hand and then the other or one forearm and then the other and then go up under the hands and so forth. Pause anywhere along the way until you come up to seated or remove your blocks and come out of the bridge. Maybe the knees are bent with feet planted if on your back. We'll all meet on our backs, if not already there. Hmm. Hmm. So find your way however you wish. Could be that you come onto your side first and lower yourself to the earth. Ah. And let's take the right leg up. Send it to the sky, maybe clasp the back of the thigh or shin and toes toward nose just for a little bit for the bladder meridian. Some of them are just touching upon. We focused on the liver and this rotation and compression on the belly. I have more breaths. After this, there will be one more pose where we'll stay for quite some time, more yin style, good five minutes. More inhale and exhale to release other side.
Now the pelvis to heavy. Around five more breaths. And this always varies depending on your length of breath. Just a general guideline, not a prescription. More inhale and exhale to release that foot. Okay, our other longer pose today is Banasana or gallbladder, the pairing to a liver. So let's take the legs over to the left-hand side to any degree, arms in that same oops, direction. I can walk them out. So you kind of make this crescent moon shape or banana shape with the body. The hips stay grounded. And then we cross if we need more. And you might not in a yin class, you might want to back off a little. Cross that right ankle over top. Some of us are really open and it's fine to do this. But again, use your body as a guide. No need to force. And this is gallbladder, but also we're opening the sides of the lungs side of the body to really extend our breath. It's great to expand into spring here. A season of growth, renewal. It's a release. What does not serve here? that you can grow once more, renew again. It's released through the ribs of intercostals that can get congested when it's cold and we kind of hold ourselves. Tense, shiver. Let the breath warm you. Notice where your attention is. You return to the sensations in the body. Maybe we even feel this from the tips of the fingers of that right hand all the way to the outside of the foot, maybe even the sole of the foot. Also take note if the sensation has shifted. Maybe that sensation of stretch has lessened or deepened. So right or wrong here. 
just change. Wiggle the jaw and face if there's tension. You even breathe into that right armpit. And use your imagination. Using that visualization, did it change the breath? Power of the mind to shift our experience. A few more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, maybe through the mouth. As you release that clasp wrist or crossed foot, if you had it. It's not coming out all the way, just partial from wherever you were. And slowly shift the legs. Ah, the body back to the center of your mat. And just sense that right side. Left side. Right side. Left side. And both together. Hmm. Little knee hug in between since we're focusing on digestion, both knees in toward uh, the thigh, or yeah, in toward the chest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Send the legs to the sky, roll ankles, reverse, hug again, lengthen legs. And we'll take ah, the legs over toward the opposite side. Same thing with the arms. Find how much of a crescent you want to make. Take your time for the first minute or so. Can Even though we want stillness in yin, you can move at first, right? Find what will be healthy for you. And if you need that crossing, that left ankle will cross, but you cross, same wrist to deepen without losing the leg. Notice with these longer pauses in poses, like we did in deer in here in Banasana, how much more unravels compared to some of the other shorter poses we did today. How much deeper your awareness grows. Maybe you start with the widening of that breath. The left side. Release that tension. 
any stuckness from winter dormancy. The breath warms the side of the body. Intercostals start to expand. Release what doesn't serve anymore, what you're finished with. Sense the tips of the fingers down the outside, kind of underside of that arm even. Down through the armpit, the sides of the ribs, side ribs, the waist, the outer hip, outer leg, IT band. Outer knee, the lower leg, the ankle, the side of the foot, and the sole of the foot. Mm. Feel free to trace that line, side of foot up to the fingertip. Lines of fascia, connective tissue, lengthen, uncoil. Allow new hydration in. And go to that armpit. Maybe breathe there a few breaths. Again, just suggestions. But use your imagination. around two more breaths here maybe three more inhale exhale ha unclasp ah and uncross if you were there and stay Slide the legs in a little further and a little further from wherever you are until you find center. Oh, yeah. And sense that left side and right side. Left, right, and everything, all parts of your being united here on the map.
when you're ready, another knee hug. Maybe rock the head side to side. Pause the head, extend the legs, roll those ankles again. Reverse. This time, take the legs wide. Hug the thighs, the outsides of the ribs. Happy baby, rock. Legs back together so that you can roll onto your favorite side in a little ball. Until you're ready to take the top hand to press yourself up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come to a seated posture of your choice. Drop the chin again. Lull the head side to side. I've done a lot with the neck today. I don't know about you, but it's been great. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and maybe you roll that head all the way around if it's safe for your neck. Reverse the head. To be honest, I didn't plan for it to be as long of a sequence today. I added some things. It was so good. For me, for my body. <laughs> Drop the chin. And look up as the arms. And bring your hands through to heart center. And one long yum, if you wish, it's spelt Y-A-M, but we say yum from that heart space. Inhale to prepare and exhale to chant. Yum. Thank you for practicing with me today. Sat Nam. Mm. My final yum pretty much describes how I feel right now. <laughs> I hope you feel that way too. Yin is just amazing. You know, when you really spend a long time in the poses, it can really unleash a lot. So if you like yin, I do have more in the library. You know, explore YouTube. There's, you know, it's good to relax and take um these slower practices. The whole Practice of yin tends to be very meditative because of what it, you know, the biochemistry of our bodies. So highly recommend it. <laughs> anyway, hope you have a great day. Take care.